music has to first of all express the vision of the director or the producer of what they what they want the film or the TV show to be. And sometimes what they want it to be is at odds with what it should be. And so sometimes my job is to be a, a very collaborative partner in, in helping to guide them to really ultimately to what I think it should be. And I'm not always right, or composer isn't always right, but composer definitely needs to try to be true to what he or she thinks is right and try to express it in an elegant way to then bring them over to your side. You don't always win those battles, but that's that's part of what I do, is, is just being the psychologist of it all. The other thing is you have to, music has to tell the story. It has to be that X factor in, in a film where, uh, for instance, Star Wars, for a really good example, the first Star Wars without music, have you ever seen that? I think it's, it's around on the internet. I would invite everybody to look at Star Wars without that glorious John Williams music. It's a different experience. So the music has to impart an emotion and help with the storytelling. And that's job number one. That's job, maybe, maybe that's our biggest job, is to just help with the storytelling. If the music needs to sort of help and get take the day, it should. And other times the music should lay low and, and it should do that. So it's it's an art form, really. It's not a there's a craft to it, but it's really an art form. And I think that that has to just happen.